Hey guys and welcome to my channel. For today I prepared another painting of a seascape and I hope you don't mind. You know I love seascapes and I that's actually my favorite thing to paint. So I decided to do another one and first I started with making my sketch and it is quite easy sketch. I just drew the horizon line in upper third of my paper and then just on the right side going on the left I drew the some sort of mountains rock that is in a distance and afterwards I prevented the entire paper and then with cadmium yellow medium I painted the upper part of the sky and also the part of the beach or, or sea where the reflection from the sun is. Then I've mixed in some mother lake red light into my cadmium yellow medium and painted the lower part of the sky and with golden deep I painted the middle part of the sky. You know you don't have to actually use all those three colors you can just mix yellow and some red to make orange for the middle part. Also I've added that orange onto my reflection because I do want some variety in it. I do want it to be a little bit lighter and a little bit darker here and there. And as you could have seen I did not actually paint it in the same entire same wash but I did left some parts of the paper also white. After the paint completely dried I move on to, to painting the sea and again I prevented the entire paper and then mixed azure with azure blue and added just a little bit of mother lake red light to create the blue that I actually liked. You can just use any a little bit darker blue and again with a horizontal strokes I painted in the sea and I just went to the part where I painted my reflection. I did not paint over the reflection, just in the part to where it starts. And then with indigo I've painted the part that is near to reflection where I want my C to be the darkest. Also I painted the other side of the reflection with the same blue colors. Then again with some orange I went into my reflection and painted, added a little bit more of dynamic, a little bit more of the interest shadows to that reflection. After the paint again completely dried I'm now using a dagger brush that is actually an angled brush. You can use any angled brush that you have or maybe a flat brush or maybe even a round brush for some dry brushing. This time I did not prevent the paper and I'm not actually using even a lot of water in my brush, just a slight amount, enough to pick up the paint and just to, to make, a, make it possible to release the paint from my brush. And I'm doing some, again, horizontal strokes, doing dry brushing technique and leaving those marks that are quite uneven and that is actually the effect I want to achieve with this with that dry brushing. Also same technique I'm using for the reflection right now but this time I do have a little bit more of the water in my brush so that dry brushing technique is not really so visible as it is in the part where the sea is. Now I'm also adding a little bit of that golden deep I used for the sky and now I'm using it also for the reflection and just painting here and there again leaving the lighter parts and the darker parts and now with sepia or any darker brown you can use any darker brown I'm painting in again some parts of the reflection and also some parts of the sea and you know this time I am also using a dry brushing technique but actually those 
those markings are the shadows in the reflection and the darkest shadow also in the sea. So I'm just going on the corners of the reflection with the sepia and on the right side where the actually the beach is. I would say that is the beach, not really anymore the sea, but the beach and the part where the water is also going in the waves. And so it, it, it is leaving that part of the beach wet. Also, now I'm painting in some rocks with sepia and I'm not trying to make it completely even in one same color or wash, but just with the tip of my brush, I'm adding a little bit more pigment here and there to make some variety in it and to make it look as it is a rock. Also, there are some little smaller rocks in the, in the shallow waters, in the shallow sea, so I'm painting in also those rocks with the tip of my brush and I'm just wiggling my brush, not really trying to paint any perfect rocks or just every single rock. I'm just wiggling my brush, tapping in just to make an impression that there are some rocks. Also, I wanted to say that all the materials I'm using for this painting are listed down in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. And I also placed there the links for my affiliate links for Amazon, so if you're willing, if you want to purchase some of the supplies or looking to buy some supplies, you can use those links and if you do make a purchase using those links, I will get a small commission and, you know, be very grateful to you. There will be no extra cost to you and it will help me to finance this, these videos and actually my supplies. Now with a script rush, I'm tapping in again some of the rocks, some of the maybe dirt or grass on the beach and again adding some more dry brushing into my sea with the indigo. For the distant rock, the biggest rock, I am again using sepia and afterwards I will be also using a little bit of neutral black to make it a little bit darker. That part that is, well, this that part is quite in the shadow, so I am using neutral black to add some diversity and I did paint it first in sepia because I don't want I don't want it to look flat. I don't want to just paint it in a neutral black and just in sepia to make it flat, but I do want it to have again some diversity and I do want it to look as though there it is rocky, it is uneven, so I did paint it with sepia and then on top of it added a little bit of neutral black. And right now with white gouache, I'm making some highlights also in my C. I wanted to make it a little bit lighter. It was actually too dark for me. So I added here and there a couple of places, some white gouache. And also I'm adding some white gouache to the reflection. Now I will be adding a little bit more splatters with uh, my script brush to add again some more some of the rocks. And you know, I did forget to mention that, but you know, you could all those little rocks I did on the beach, you can actually do by sprinkling some paint, you know, you don't have to paint it like I did, but just sprinkle some paint. I think the effect will be quite the same. And right now I'm adding a little bit more of cadmium yellow medium to my reflection again here and there to make it pop a little bit more. It was just quite flat, so I wanted to pop a little more. 
And with those couple of last details, I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!